ashver.com Hello, welcome to ashver.com. You are watching interesting video on how to make a saline solution at home. A saline solution can work wonders for a number of conditions, like sore throats, piercings, or skin infections. And the best part is it can be done in minutes with a quick rate of two ingredients from your kitchen. Keep reading to learn how to get your proportions right to create a solution that is natural and effective. Make a saline solution at home. Method 1, in the microwave. things you'll need for method 1. Purchase either regular table salt or sea salt. Do not buy fancy, scented, colored or flavored salts, the salt needs to be as pure as possible. Make sure it's iodide free and lacks preservatives, if it's anything but salt it could irritate your skin, nasal lining, whatever you're using it for. Put a 1 half teaspoon, 2.5 grams, of salt into a cup. You want to mimic the concentration of salt or tears by creating a normal, the actual term, solution that's 0.9% saline. 1. For kids, stay on the less salty side, for adults, a, a bit saltier is okay. But just a bit. If you like, some recipes say to add 1 half a teaspoon or so of baking soda. However, a normal solution doesn't need it. This is for 8 ounces of water. If you're using more water, use more salt. Add 8 ounces, 1 cup, of hot water and stir well. Zap it in the microwave for a minute or so, set it in your kettle, or otherwise somehow get it to a point where it's hot but not boiling. Grab a spoon and help it dissolve. Make sure it's stirred well. If it's cloudy or dirty, throw it throw it out. If you want to be extra careful, use distilled water, or water that has actually reached a boil. This makes sure everything is sterile and hygienic. Depending on your situation either cleanse, submerge or gargle the saline solution. But make sure not to swallow it. For the record, it's not intended for open wounds, either. For piercings, do not submerge in water. Cleanse the area only, as the saline solution can leave the surrounding ending areas quite dry. Speak to a licensed professional for the best way to care for your new piercing. For nail infections or other skin-related infections, not open wounds, submerge the appendage in the saline four times a day. This method can take days to weeks to work, see a medical professional before it's for its spreads, and if you see a red line traveling up your appendage go to the ear. For a sore throat gargle morning and night, do not ingest the solution, though doing so by mistake will not harm you. If the sore throat persists after two days see Make a saline solution. Method 2, on the stove. things you'll need for method 2. Place 1 cup of water and 1 half teaspoon of salt into a pan. That's 8 ounces of water and about 2.5 grams of salt. Make sure the salt is iodide free and lacks preservatives, coloring, scent, or any other fancy stuff that's unnecessary. One half a teaspoon doesn't seem like much, does it? For adults, it's safe to add a bit more, but just a bit. You want to have a solution that's similar to your own tears, that's 0.9% saline. Bring to a boil for 15 minutes. Place the lid on from the start. Set the timer and walk away. If you need to prep something else at this juncture, like a net iPod or jar, do so now. Use your solution. 
The most common use for saline solution is to clear the sinuses, help a sore throat or to rinse contact lenses. Just make sure it's safe and appropriate for whatever means you want to use it for. If you're gargling it, wait for it to cool down a tad so it doesn't burn your throat, it should should be very warm, not searingly hot. Same goes for using it in your nasal passageway or on your skin, you don't want to exacerbate your problem. Pour the rest into a sterile jar, bottle, or cup. If you have extras that is. Make sure your container is sterile to ensure the solution stays effective. You can be sure it is by boiling it, too. Some tips and tricks. Throw out within 24 hours. If you do keep it, or some of it, place a lid on it and store it in an airtight container for up to 24 hours. Any, any longer than that and it should be thrown out. After all, it's just salt and water, you can make more again in a pinch. It's very important the solution be fresh to be safe and Precautions and warnings. If you are unsure if you have an infection see a doctor. If symptoms persist visit a doctor. Do not boil the water, it should be hot enough that you can stand but not boiling. Boiling does not make it more effective. Thank you. This channel offers motivational, inspirational and valuable videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health, mind, body and spirit. You can find lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here, stay tuned and keep watching.